Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today, and I hope that you are as excited as I am to dive into Bite Beauty, because this is actually a very, very requested video from you guys. I would say over the last, like, four-ish months, whenever it was that they launched this foundation. Let me just cut to the chase, okay? Y'all know I love a good sale, and Bite Beauty was having a sale, and so I popped onto their website, and I picked up um, just kind of a brief overview, just like I did with Patrick Ta, which if you missed that video, I'll link it up here. Um, I just picked up a brief overview of everything that they sell, you know, their lip products, their lip masks, um, of course, the Change Maker Foundation, the primer, and the powder, and I thought what we would do for today's video, just like we did in the Patrick Ta one, is just go through and give ourselves kind of a brief overview of a lot of what they sell. Now, really quickly, something I want to mention about Bite before we even get into the video, um, just something that I thought was interesting is actually this brand, and, and I think I knew it, like, in the back of my head, but I had never really thought about it, but Bite Beauty has never really ventured outside of lips before. Like, they have a ton of stuff in that arena. Um, you know, they have their matte lip crayons, they have their agave line, which is a lip scrub, they have an agave mask and a chapstick, um, or I guess you'd call it a lip balm. Um, and, you know, they, they recently came out with a lip gloss, but outside of, like, again, lip care or lip type products, they had never really ventured into, like, blushes or bronzers or anything like that. You know what? As a side note here, wouldn't you rather, maybe this is just me, I don't know, but I would rather have a company or a brand, whatever, I would rather have one that, like, specializes and, like, say you do lips. They do lips, they do them very well, they know what they're doing, they execute it perfectly. Um, I would rather have that over and over again versus a company that tries to do, you know, lips one day and then blushes and then bronzer and then eyeshadow. Basically, they just dart around so much and they create a hundred different products and then half of them are garbage. Like, I would rather have the first option <laughs> where I have a company that I know this stuff is good and that I know I can repurchase it and the quality and the consistency, like, it's, it's always going to be there. And I think for me, I, I would rather have that, which I guess I say all of this just because it makes me a little bit more excited to, you know, get into this and not only to see, like, what the lip products really are and, and, you know, how they feel and all of that, but I'm also really excited to see what the expanded vision for Bite looks like and see, you know, just kind of how that, that vision transfers from just lips over to complexion because that is a hell of a jump. Um, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm really curious. Anyways, you guys, I guess that just kind of summarizes where we're going with the video. That was a lot longer than it was supposed to be, but per usual, that's me. Uh, but I wanted to, you know, pause at the start of the video, just like I always do, introduce myself. My name is Paige. Hello. Um, this is Seeking Alexandria. Obviously, if you are new to the channel, I do put up three new videos a week. They go up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they usually go up right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then, of course, if you haven't heard it yet, somehow, I don't know how, because I pretty much screamed it from all the corners of the internet, but if you have not yet done so, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would take a second and go down in the description box and follow me over on Instagram, because I am trying to get to 10,000 followers. That way, I can get the swipe up feature over there. And I do always recommend Instagram for anybody on here that might watch me and, you know, you want to see me more, whether it is just in a more relaxed setting, if you want to see me in my day-to-day -day life, walking the dog, doing um, unboxings in my office, anything like that, that's just where I tend to live out kind of the day-to-day -day part of my life. And then in addition to that, down in the feed of Instagram, I like to do makeup photos, makeup IGTV videos, makeup reels, plus size fashion reels. Just for me, it's kind of that fun little bonus content that I can't give you on here because obviously these are real videos with lights and stuff. And those are just, you know, a little bit more fun. They're a little more relaxed. So again, if any of that sounds good to you and you would like to hang out with me more in my day-to-day -day life, um, I would greatly appreciate it. Again, everything is linked down below. And from there, let's go ahead, zoom the camera in, and let's get started. All right, so now that we're good and zoomed in, the first thing we're actually gonna talk about is a little lip prep because I did pick up two items from the Bite Beauty Agave line. And I have the Agave Daytime Lip Balm, and then I also have the Agave Plus Intensive Lip Mask. And I thought it would be good to just, you know, kind of throw one of them on while we're getting ready, see how it feels. And based on the two of them, I kind of want to try actually the Intensive Mask, just to see, like, you know, as again, because we're going to be on camera here for a while, um, just to see how this one feels. So let's go ahead here. Ooh, it's in a little squeezy tube. I love a good squeezy tube. Okay. Um, I just got so excited. It says that this is a superfood succulents in a does it all mask for deep hydration and extreme recovery. Okay, well, that sounds kind of lovely. It's exactly what I need right now, given that I'm all schneinessy. Does anybody else feel like when you get all like this kind of congested or whatever, do you ever feel like your lips are just perpetually dry for absolutely no reason? Like, I know that my sinuses don't like suck moisture out of my lips, but my God, it feels like it does. What I'm gonna do here is take a little bit of this mask. You can see it on the tip of my finger there. It looks um almost like gel, kind of like from an aloe vera plant. Like it has that kind of um, consistency look to it. So what I'm gonna do here is just take a little of this. I just have it on my finger and uh, I'm just gonna take and smear that on. Oh wow, that is glossy. You see that? 
Oh my God, you are so pretty. Kind of reminds me, look at me, I'm like, I'm so, I'm looking in every mirror that I have. This reminds me of the, uh, the Laneige lip sleeping mask. Like it has that beautiful shine to it. And it's actually a very similar um, consistency. Like it's it's a medium thickness. It's not like super thick and goopy, but it's also not like the kind of thin that repels and just runs away. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I have been telling you guys for the last 10 minutes, I can't smell. My sinus is da-da-da-da-da. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out why I can't smell anything. I'm like, what does this smell like? Why can't I figure it out? Because you can't smell, you twit. Anyways, moving on past the fact that I forgot I can't smell even though I can't breathe. Um, let's also talk really quickly about this. How cute is this packaging? Oh my god. I feel like they are just killing it. I love this little squeezy tube. I love this little chapstick. I'm sorry, lip balm or lip moisturizer. What the hell they call this thing? I should, I should really start to read stuff before I take it out of the box. This is the daytime lip balm with manangango oil what the fuck i'm sorry what mangango oil mangango oil Mang mangango oil okay guys that's what we're gonna go with but anyways this is what this is what it looks like um just a standard little lip balmy situation here i'm just gonna swatch it just so i can feel it Ooh. okay it definitely has a lighter um like a lighter feel to it definitely compared to this obviously i haven't tried it yet hopefully we will try it before the end of the video but uh, from there let's go ahead and start getting into the complexion because i know that is what everyone is dying for myself included okay so let's start talking first here what do i want i want the primer um this is the change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. I picked up the primer that worked best for normal to oily skin because I have combo leaning oily and so I figured this one would probably work best for me just because I do have the oily t-zone but something that I thought was very interesting with this collection and really how they envisioned it is they wanted you to have a primer that would actually neutralize your skin and bring everything back to center that way the foundation could kind of perform the same way for everyone. I really loved that perspective. I thought it was a cool way to look at it because um, you know as some Somebody that tests foundations you guys know this I test them a ton I love foundation reviews uh, but it can be really difficult when you're working with so many different variations and so many different skin types and I just thought that this was actually a, just kind of a cool different way to look at it and make it that much more customizable to each person and just you know to how they like to have um, their skin look or what their individual concerns are for their skin so I just thought that that was cool wanted to mention it so I did just go ahead and pop my glasses up on my forehead so if um, all my little curls start to just fluff out over here well that's just how things are because you you guys my curls are holding in today look at that oh my god my curls fall out so fast like my hair is painfully straight and like this side you can see they just relax instantly and I feel like on this side they just like they're holding out just a little bit extra today and it's making me feel so good I love it okay anyways let's go ahead and focus um and we're gonna take a little bit of this primer Ooh, okay um so this one appears to be just like right off the bat here it seems to be one of those more um what are those like like the tart pore filling kind of primers um um, where it's going to really press into your pores, which is good for me because I definitely have a very large pory situation um, And I need a little bit more of that I don't know how small I thought my face was but I got a big ass face I'm just taking the bulk of that primer and really pressing it into the t-zone and then kind of taking the excess and pulling it outward Because for me, I, I really just need to neutralize if you will this area through here and kind of help with the oil So from there obviously we can go ahead and jump into the foundation and uh, this is like I said before the change maker supercharged my foundation and I picked this up in the shade L25 and it says on the back here that this is the skin like finish that you crave and the clean formula you deserve with medium coverage and I'm just checking to see how does this color look actually that's not too bad at all okay you know what I can make this work also I thought that was gonna be a lot thicker than it is that is very interesting in texture. Okay, um, I, I really don't know what I was expecting, but I don't I don't think that was it. Now to go in for real here, I'm just gonna take a sponge and uh, start swiggling that into the skin, really taking a look at the coverage here, um, just to see, oh wow, a sponge absorbed <laughs> a lot of it, okay. Um, might have to try that with a brush, definitely have to try that with a brush. The only one that I have clean is my Morphe JH03, and I'm just gonna take some of it on here, and I'm gonna use this to see if I can get any real coverage and like spread it all over the face, which I think the only reason, oh yeah, that's a lot better. Um, the only reason that the, the sponge side threw me off so bad, because you know, it's not uncommon for foundations to really soak in, but it, I think it caught me off guard because I genuinely thought that this foundation was gonna be thicker. And I just, I don't know, the, the texture of it was really what messed with me. Definitely think um, if you're trying to build up any sort of coverage that a brush is the way to go, because like my, my face, it looked like two totally different worlds. So I'm just taking a little bit more here and kind of evening it out. 
And then because this does appear to have a little bit more of like a hydrated look on the skin, you can see it right through there. I think what I'll do is go in maybe with the uh, with the sponge and kind of press it in after it's set on my skin for just a second, really let those pigments kind of rest. So I let that rest on my skin for roughly a minute. And uh, now I'm gonna go in with the sponge here and just see if I can smooth out the, uh, the surface of this foundation because it definitely looks beautiful. Again, it has a very hydrated look to the skin. But um, the, the texture from applying it with a brush, it looks very, very streaky. If any of you um, have been here and you've seen my other foundation reviews, that is something that's pretty common with me because I have so much like surface skin texture. Um, you know, things, they, they just don't tend to sit as well when I use a brush versus a sponge. So you guys, fun fact, I just noticed, I think this might be my exact skin tone. Like I'm looking in the monitor, I'm looking in this mirror and I'm looking up close and this color blends into my neck. Like it's, it's a seamless <laughs> transition and I can count on uh, like one finger the amount of times that that has ever happened on this channel um so that's exciting okay i'm very happy about um about that new development okay 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 look at me having a pasty ass little match all right from here moving on we are going to go in with a little concealer and i'm just going to take my dose of colors meet your hue concealer this is in the shade what is this the shade 03 fair not going to go too crazy with this concealer because this is more of a like lighter medium coverage kind of look but i still want to use you know the foundation and do it the way that I normally would okay so I kind of love the blend between those two um, those two products that concealer and foundation because that concealer has more of like a satin skin finish to it and it just pairs really beautifully with um, with the more hydrated look of this foundation like the two they just bounce off of each other really well and they give a super like lightly hydrated look to my under eye I am really quickly going to um, set my under eyes and through my t-zone with my Maybelline fit me this is an 05 fair I'm doing this because I know that uh, these areas have to be set a little bit more um, intensely, if you will, just because I have wrinkles and crevasses, and uh, I know that the, the press powder from Bite isn't really going to give me that press in. But from there, that does bring us into the powder, which I grabbed this in the shade Light 1, and I might have went a little bit too light, but we're just going to overlook it, add a little bronzer. It's all going to be good. Um, it's just, I, I looked at that, and I was like, ooh, shit. Um, it's just, it's a freckle light, but it'll be fine. Uh, but I grabbed this anyways. This is in the shade Light 1 and this is the Changemaker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. And it says on the back here that you can build, set, and touch up for flawless skin. Coverage control is in your hands. Um, and I gotta be honest, I really like that. I love the fact that they made, again, a powder that they're saying you can work with, you can build it, or you can shear it out. Oh, you guys, look at how pretty that is. It feels really, really nice. And it has like a light little blurring effect type situation. I'm, ooh, I'm, I'm very intrigued. Okay, um, let's grab a brush here. I, I love that I, I sit down and do my makeup and all of a sudden I forget what a brush is. Which brush are you looking for? I think for this one, I'm just gonna grab this fluffy color pop brush. It doesn't say which one it is, uh, but it is a great powder brush. And I'm just gonna, you know, tap into here and uh, I'm gonna tap, tap, tap in. Hey, <laughs> I'm not 31 with sinus issues. I'm just gonna go in here and uh, start lightly setting this. Into oh, actually, wait, pause before I set this side. Um, let's do a little touch test. I always do touch tests and here I am forgetting. Uh, but I like to see how does this foundation dry down before it is set? Oh, you know what? This is actually kind of interesting because because the texture of it on the skin feels dried down, but I'm actually getting a fair amount of transfer. I actually think this one could go both ways, um, depending, like if you don't set your face, uh, the, the surface of this isn't super like wet kind of tacky, but at the same time, while I'm touching it, I am getting a little bit of transfer. So, you know, just something to consider there on both sides, but I do think that there is a flexible aspect uh, to the foundation in terms of setting it. But uh, anyways, I'm just gonna go through now and finish <laughs> setting everything in place. All right, so obviously I have to run off of camera, do the rest of my face, the bronzer and everything, but I wanted to bring you guys really close. That way you could see how this is looking on my skin, um, just to get a feel for the texture, because I'm actually very impressed with this powder. I feel like it has the mill of like a finishing powder, like it has a really beautiful refinement to it, but at the same time, it stacks on itself beautiful to like build that pigment. And I think between those two things, it is not only smoothing over my skin, but it actually is increasing the coverage and giving me a little bit more of like a, a stable base on top of that foundation. You know what? I'd actually go as far as to say out of those three items I've tried so far, um, or the complexion items, that is the primer, foundation, and powder, I think the powder is my favorite because I feel like of the three, Three, it is the most transformative and it is the one that is just like pressing into my skin and looking the smoothest especially just like right over this region and I'm just I'm, I'm really happy with the way it looks it looks beautiful anyways as I was saying only moments ago I do have to run off of camera obviously finish everything up and I'll stop back on at the 
the end obviously we're gonna do lips and we're gonna test out the stuff that I have which I'm very intrigued I have like this anti feathering little like lip invisipen situation my lips feather like crazy and if there is something that can prevent that lip feathering lip cracking situation I am all ears okay so I'm gonna go ahead obviously finish this up and I will be right back all right beautiful people with that the rest of the face is on but before we get into close-up or makeup details anything like that I do want to finish off with lips because I picked up a couple of items which we're gonna start off first with this one and uh, this one I'm just very intrigued by this is their line and define lip primer and I pulled it up on the website just to make sure I had all the information what this says down in the description is feathering fading not here <laughs> I like the sound of that I like somebody that takes control yes uh, keep your lipstick in line with this multitasking lip primer as a universal lip liner it creates an invisible barrier on your lip line so your color stays within bounds as a lip primer it grips your lipstick to improve and extend the wear as well and with superfoods kiwi seed oil and jackfruit extract this clean vegan primer helps nourish lips and keeps them in color ready condition Ooh, I like it okay um, so it says here under lip tips line along the outside of your lip line to create an invisible barrier that keeps it in place and you can swipe it across your lips okay well hell I am whoo -hoo, you guys I am so excited and I know oh that is so interesting it really is clear I don't know I don't know what I expected when they said clear uh, apparently I expected a color but I have talked about this so many times about how I have the most feathery little uh, lips and like the, the color always just bleeds there are a couple of lip liners that I have found um, granted there's only like two of them uh, but there are a couple that I found that do help to control that feathering but they're all you know colors like they're, they're actually a colored regular lip liner which is why I'm extra interested in this one because I mean if this is a clear lip liner then this could solve all of my problems all in one which makes it that much more exciting uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead here and I guess line on the outskirts of my lips a little and I am gonna drag it onto my lip just like I would any other lip liner because it is nourishing Ooh, and I I can't I can't really smell um but if I could here I'm almost detecting like a light little minty situation it's kind of nice okay <laughs> Paige can't smell but it's convinced that she smells peppermint okay Paige whatever you say okay so that is applied to my lip liner and all over the lips and from there let's go ahead and go in with the other two items that I picked up I did grab one of the power move creamy matte lip crayons and I have this in the shade grace which I think is like a deeper kind of mauve -y. oh yes it is honey and it is so creamy do you guys see that color <gasps> oh girl this is going this is gonna be so satisfying okay so let's go in with some of this here oh my god that color Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. I love guys. This is my favorite color for fall. And then over top of that, I'm going to take just a little bit of their new gloss. This is their Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss infused with cinnamon oil. And I grabbed this in the shade Cinnamon Twist because I think it was, yes, honey, it is a nice glossy brown glitter. Ooh, this is my jam. And what the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. It's one of these. Okay. You just have to, <laughs> I'm like, where the hell is the stick? Um, but you just have to do one of these, it looks like, until it it comes out um excuse me hello maybe hello sir I'd like gloss please are you in there yeah that's beautiful it has that nice light brown base we've got some gold glitter going on there super shiny oh yes please okay let's just smear on a little bit of that okay you guys this is absolutely beautiful first of all like the color is gorgeous also can we just talk about the thinness of this gloss because I feel like like in terms of the texture of it I can barely feel it on my lips it has such a lightweight feel like it but the shine is just a hundred percent like this is so beautiful and so glossy <gasps> mm, you guys look at that look at that you see that oh my god and I like barely 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 used any okay this is gorgeous also yum, 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 yum. I get like a little bit of that cinnamon taste going on it's like I've been sucking on a piece of big red Gr granted the flavor is a little bit light the big red is old okay but like it's still there mm, it's kind of nice yes all right you guys with that obviously now the full face is on and complete so I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the up close that way you can see how things are setting and I think you know overall I think it looks pretty good I don't have any huge like glaring issues that are jumping out at me other than like the, the planes of my face over the cheek region I am hoping that those warm up just a little bit just to look a little bit more hydrated on the skin um, don't get me wrong they don't look dry they don't look bad necessarily but I do just want there to be a little bit more um, a little bit more skin like texture right through there other than that in terms of like the complexion overall I'm not seeing any issues but as far as my nose and like right through here goes I am still seeing an issue right in this area which isn't super uncommon it was there before I cut the camera like you know back before I even applied my 
bronzer but right through here I am noticing like the settling into my nose crevasses or ravines at this point girl they're getting big um but like right through here I am noticing some settling and on the pores on the side of my nose I see a little settling as well but again not uncommon it's something I see fairly often and usually with a consistency like this with this foundation it's just because it does have more of a hydrating um feeling on the skin so it just doesn't tend to grip as well like right on my nose and then also really quickly I just want to mention to you the other items that I went in with while I was off of camera and we will I think I'll do them in order so first one I went in with here this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer this is their airbrush bronzer in the shade medium um, I have officially hit pan on this I use it all the time it is one of my favorite favorite bronzers love the texture consistency everything on that is on point so I went in with this and then for blush this one is actually a little bit multifaceted because I am currently testing out um, the new Wayne Goss blushes he recently came out with these blush duos the purposes of today's video I primarily went in and played around with both of these this is the bright poppy blush and then this is the vivid azalea and I went in of course and I did the original cheek swatches you know one on each side and then after I was done I mixed and matched so that way everything would match a little bit better I definitely think on camera this side pulls a little bit more this is the vivid azalea side uh, but overall I love the way that they mixed I thought the combo was actually really pretty so that is what I am wearing for blush and highlight and then for brows I'm actually testing out this new little brow pencil this is from Marc Jacobs and this is their brow wow duo and it is their brow powder pencil and tinted gel and I'm using this in the shade dark brown and also one more thing I meant to mention you know back on the blush situation here I am wearing this palette on the eyes this is the bright poppy palette and so I have this gold all over the lid and then I ran the pink shade through the crease and I actually really really love the combo like I, I would wear that just on a day-to-day -day. I think it looks really nice it has a beautiful vibrancy to it but it's still you know very light very everyday then just to jazz up and give a little bit more spunk to the eye look I added a little bit of the Fenty Beauty this is their fly pencil in the shade puppy eyes and then just the final items that kind of you know polished off the look I had the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara the Urban Decay Ultra Glow setting spray this guy right here and then which I'm testing this out I, I tested actually both of these this is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed setting spray and I used both of these today and I used them in testing full face of new makeup which I will link up here and but other than that yeah I can't think of anything else that I used like I said it was a super simple makeup day and from here I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish out the day obviously I'll stop back on at the end I'll do you know the up close the check-in and give you guys my final thoughts any of you guys that are used to watching my foundation reviews you know that normally I like to keep them you know right around the 10 ish hour for like a wear test for foundation and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get there today I, I truthfully don't think that I will because my sinuses feel like they're melting inside my cranium either way regardless of how long it is or you know regardless of any factor of course I'll stop back on and uh, we are gonna talk about how things are looking and wearing here in a little bit so hang tight and I will be right back all right beautiful people so I am back it is officially the end of the day of course I know going into this I was a little bit apprehensive just in terms of um, how long the actual wear test would be but I am pleased to report that I have actually been wearing this foundation for about seven seven and a half ish hours so even though it's not my usual 10 hours okay I'm just glad that my um, sinal region right here I'm just glad it let me participate in today's festivities at all and uh, I'm very grateful so we're just gonna go ahead and kick things off of course with the up close I'm gonna get that on the screen for you guys um, that way we can all see it and I think for me you know overall I think it was a pretty positive wear test I do think for the most part that the foundation did warm up to my skin and things were able to smooth out um, a lot on the planes of my face and again just more so meld in with my skin which was a big positive positive. and then of course there's the obvious of you know settling into my smile lines around my mouth um, and just like up under my nose that whole region does look a little bit funny um, and, and I think for that there's you know twofold obviously I do have lines right here and you know we could correct that maybe try a different powder a different primer and try to play around with that a little bit more but uh, the main thing for me which also we should probably point out the area under my nose if that looks a little funky we can't really blame the foundation because hello sinuses okay that that wouldn't really be fair to her and if you are newer to my foundation reviews one of the things I like to talk about is um, how I would fix them kind of make them work for me a little bit better like what I would trade out and I think specifically for this foundation um, I would have to play around a little bit more with the primer because what I'm noticing is that this primer it did help a little bit with my oil control which is nice because I mean truthfully after seven hours I have almost no oil on my nose right around here even on my forehead um, and that's really really impressive because again I'm, I'm oily through the t-zone but something that I would also need to consider alongside of that one maybe would be like a little bit of my Tatcha liquid silk canvas or um, some other type of a primer that could help me to fill in like these smile lines and these ones up here between my brows just something to give me a little bit more rigidity in that area and then also to fill in 
in the pores on the sides of my nose because like I said before I noticed that those were looking a little funny and then also I might want to add just as like a prep step even if it's not a specific primer I think over the planes of my face it might be nice just to give them just a touch of hydration um, before going in with this makeup and, and the powder and all of that and even if that was just a little bit of like the this is the fourth ray glisten up spray I just use this in um, testing new color pop which I can link up here or the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow just really anything that gives me a, some sort of a, a freshness for me with the three-step routine I actually um, don't have any other little critiques because I do really enjoy the powder I think that's really nice and I quite like the foundation I, again I, I want to play with it a little bit more I might want to mix it I might not but I do think to start the main thing that I would need to critique would be a little bit of the primer situation just to make sure that the area underneath is able to be a little bit more smooth but uh, yeah at this point for it being on for seven hours I'm actually pretty impressed with it I think everything looks nice it looks vibrant um, I haven't had any issues with it sloughing off or looking um, like bally or textured on my skin there's no pilling um, so overall I, I think it's it's definitely a positive wear test but I think that we can fine-tune like these little areas to make it work a little bit better and then also in addition to that I wanted to touch in on the lip products because as you guys know I did test out that little anti feathering lip pencil and I have a couple of thoughts okay so first thing I do do think that it helps um, but I can't say definitively whether or not it works perfectly because after I was done filming and you know I got all done and ready I definitely went and ate a chocolate ice cream and may have gotten it like all up in this region okay just like all up on my face and so you know if that area got kind of <laughs> kind of jacked out of shape a little um, I can't really hold that specifically responsible what I will say to the pro of the lip liner primer thing is that for how much I have wiped and licked and eaten <laughs> that sounds so bad um, but for how much I have messed around in the mouth region tonight also sounds bad um, I'm actually really impressed that there's not more feathering I'm just seeing a little bit up here in the cupid's bow but for the most part it does look really good so um, it has positive results but it's tentative um, and then also the other lip products I really liked they did stay really well and we actually still have some of the lip liner on which I think is cool and then right before I started filming just as a side note I did go in with a little bit of this agave lip balm stuff I keep looking to see what it's called it's called agave lip balm page get with it uh, but I did go in with a little bit of this as well that's that shine you're seeing and this is actually really nice it feels really great on my lips and what I like about it is that it's there it gives a little shine but it's very very comfortable and I actually don't feel it at all so it's like a really nice glidey hydrating kind of balmy chapstick and I'm very interested to see how this ends up wearing if it really does hydrate the lips so I'm just gonna say it you guys I think overall this was definitely a win um, I really enjoyed these products of course I'm gonna test them more I'll let you guys know if anything changes or if I notice anything but as far as my first impression and like a good dive into bite beauty I am very very happy with it I had a good time I hope you guys did too um, be sure to leave me down in the comments what you think if you've tried these things have you tried this foundation the complexion routine any of the things um, or is there another brand that you want me to test out because now I've done Patrick Ta I've done bite beauty um, is there another brand that maybe I don't talk about that you'd like me to that I should dive into um, you know just the, just the works leave me your thoughts and opinions down in the comments and like I said at the start of the video of course you can subscribe subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave, and of course, go follow me over on Instagram. I would really, really appreciate that. Still trying to hit 10,000, hey, in case you forgot from the start of the video, like in case you forgot over that small amount of time, um, I'm still trying, so go follow me on Instagram if you haven't. But you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Right, look at us go. Yes! Biatch! Oh my god, you look so good with your curly hair. You look so good with your curly hair. Quit it. <sighs> Ludens. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today, and I hope that you are excited and that you don't mind my nasally voice. I can hear it. I have an itch on my thigh. It looks like my butt, but it's not. It's my thigh.